Okay, in this video, I'm going to try to explain how we can um, use Excel to find the slope of a graph. Okay, so um, the example I'm going to be using here is uh, in, a, in a lab where we um, are trying to find the relationship between the normal force and the static friction of um, two objects. Okay, so we're going to plot um, our static friction force against our normal force. And so what we want to do is um, use our Excel to plot that data and then find the slope of that data. Okay, so um, when using Excel, whether it's the Mac version or the PC version, um, we're going to be using it the same way. Uh, to do this and to plot the slope, uh, what we want to do is we want to input our data, okay? And we're going to end up using a scatter plot chart to go ahead and do this. And so, in a scatter plot chart, uh, basically the data that we have we're using for our x-axis and our y-axis, okay? And so, when using Excel, the when we plot this data in here and put it in here, um, they always use kind of the first column um, as the x and then a second column as the y. Okay, so um, once again, we're plotting here in this example the normal force um, against uh, static friction force. Okay, and so uh, I'm going to go ahead and plot my values here uh, and don't have too many. Uh, 4.49. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just entering in what I want to have on my x-axis um, for my graph. Okay, so that was my normal force, and here was my, my static friction for this lab. And for this lab, uh, the units um, are going to be in newtons. Okay. And so once you have your data, um, the data that you want for your x-axis, remember you want it to have kind of in the first column, and then what you want for your y-axis, you want it in your second column. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and highlight our data. Then we're going to go find our charts um, because we want to go ahead and plot this. Okay. And so when we when we use the chart that we want to use is our XY scatter plot. Okay, so we have to go ahead and find our XY scatter, which will be up here if you're using the Mac version. Um, the PC version, you might find it up kind of on the top toolbar. So hit XY scatter. Uh, now at this point, it doesn't necessarily matter which one you use. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. Okay, and so what you can see is we've gone ahead and Excel has basically plotted our data for us at this point. Let's see if I can get you to take a look at this a little bit easier. Okay. And so we see that our that's this thing that's bugging me. Okay. We can see that the data that we've plotted, the normal force, um, is gonna be our x axis. Okay, we know that because our, our max value was this 11.84, and we can see we kind of go to 14 on the X, and we can see that our Y column here, the highest we have is a 3.2, and our y, our y column goes as high as a 3.5, okay? And so here's our data. Uh, this is kind of our, our line, and what we want to do is we want to find the slope of this line. Now, finding the slope of the, of the line will give us um, different... Uh, kind of variables or, or what we're trying to look for, okay? So if we were maybe doing one that is um, speed versus time, um, our slope could could be like acceleration. In this case, when we're plotting normal force versus static friction, we're going to find the coefficient of friction for that static force, okay? So what, what you need to do is go ahead and click on the line itself, the data, and it would kind of, it should highlight um, all of it as you see here and then when you're on it you're gonna right click it it should post this pop-up and what you wanna do is you wanna hit this add trend line okay once you add the trend line uh, two things are gonna happen first you're gonna get a pop-up 
whether you're on the Mac or the PC. And second of all, you're going to see that they've added this black line on your graph. And that black line is pretty much the line of best fit um, for your data. Okay, and then now what we want to do, um, if you have PC, it's a little bit different. Um, the pop-up that you get um, is going to have more um, kind of options and, and things to look at. Um, it'll look some of on the bottom for the PC is going to look like what you see down here okay where there is an option that says display equation on chart and so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click that and as you notice when I click that we can see that we had a value pop up on our chart okay and this equation is basically the equation for our line of best fit it's a y equals mx plus b form okay and as we know in our y equals mx plus b equation the m or the the value in front of our x is the value of our slope okay so here my slope for um, this data is going to be my point two eight one eight okay and so what that slope tells me in, in this data is that my coefficient of static friction was a 0.28 okay and so um, whether your data is whether it's static friction or some other type of lab that's going to be your slope okay hopefully this video was helpful for you to go ahead and find the slope of data using Excel